China seems intent on crushing crypto, but crypto doesn't seem to mind. As the Chinese government banned all digital currency transactions last Friday, crypto prices rose and decentralized exchanges cackled with delight. <laughs> Trading volume erupted with DYDX happiest of all. Stick around as we take a DeFi dive on this edition of Exodus Crypto News. Last week, the Chinese government banned all digital currency transactions. The People's Bank of China issued a stern statement that in China, cryptocurrencies are not legal and should not and cannot be used as a currency in the market. Harsher penalties and tighter surveillance on crypto mining and trading will be implemented. At the moment, possession of a cryptocurrency is the only legal crypto activity in the world's most populous country. You can hodl, but you can't do anything else. Even providing information on cryptocurrency is now considered a crime. According to Cointelegraph, this is the 19th time China has either banned crypto or caused massive FUD since 2009. This 19th crypto crackdown led to brief investor panic with $450 million in liquidations within minutes. Chinese traders had to look for other options. The answer was to aim for anonymity and permission-free trading and head for DEXs. Among decentralized exchanges, DYDX has been their new venue of choice. The Chinese government was aware that its ban would lead traders to look abroad. So they emphasized services provided to Chinese citizens from overseas crypto exchanges are also illegal. But here's the thing, they can't punish anyone unless they catch them. Decentralized exchanges don't require their customers to submit any identifying information, which means users can remain anonymous. While China continues to muscle out crypto, crypto doesn't seem too bothered. After the initial market hit, Bitcoin has since risen 7% and Ethereum 15%. So this suggests investors are not nervous, but rather they are seeing these swings as an opportunity to snag some sweet crypto at a discount. Many DEXs are seeing their numbers blossom. Uniswap showed a $1.2 billion increase in exchange activity, with the native token Uni rising 30% to reach $26. And the most joyous bunch of them all is DYDX. The reason for Chinese traders switching to DEXs is because they facilitate privacy and anonymity, which is important if your government doesn't want you dealing in crypto. So exchange juggernauts Huobi Global, which is based in China, has actually announced that they will be suspending new accounts for from China and will gradually retire existing accounts by the end of the year. Finance will likewise no longer accept new accounts in China. Colin Wu, a Chinese blockchain journalist, predicted that Chinese local communities will flood the decentralized finance world. So DEXs is what's next. A tweet from Antonio Giuliano, the founder of the decentralized derivatives exchange DYDX, confirmed the surge in registrations and volume, which led to a running of the bulls on the exchange's native token DYDX. Giuliano tweeted, five years ago, I left Coinbase and eventually founded DYDX. Today, for the first time, DYDX protocol is doing more trade volume than Coinbase. As news spread that DYDX is now handling trading volumes comparable to the world's largest crypto exchanges, DYDX shot up by 90% over a three-day period. Suddenly, the best performing cryptocurrency among the top 100 coins. Now, this isn't an overnight success either. DYDX has been going from strength to strength, arching skyward by more than 80% since it first hit the market on September 8th of 2021. This result is more than twice Coinbase's volume during the same period, second only to Binance's mighty $23 billion. DYDX just keeps cooking, having clocked 19 1,700% growth over the last six months. So to put that into context, Coinbase shows growth of around 6% during the same period. But this is largely because Coinbase was already a Goliath, while DYDX is a quickly growing David. But don't think that Coinbase is bothered because in September 2019, they invested 1 million USDC in DYDX in what is called a USDC bootstrap fund. That bootstrap will have paid off very handsomely. The moral of the story? Well, the more the centralized forces push against crypto, the more traders will move to decentralized exchanges. And this is what crypto was built for, to give power back to the individual investor. Thanks for watching, everyone, and make sure that you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Until next time, huddle on.